Hey, welcome back to another activity. In this activity video, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be downloading some MIDI uh, files for free just on the internet for something that we like. And then we're going to extract the elements that we want from that MIDI information and we'll change the sounds and everything and we'll make it our own. This is just such an awesome way to, to, to start a new idea from something that you know, you already know sounds good, something that you can trust in whatever genre and style, and um, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. So uh, just a reminder, I shoot all of these activity vi videos in real time, so if you find that the information is dragging on a little bit and you just want to consume that information a little bit faster, go ahead and hit that gear icon in the bottom right hand corner to increase the speed by double, and um, it'll make it go a little bit faster for you. So what we're going to do here is, I think I'm just going to work in the arrangement view, and I'm gonna I just get rid of these two audio tracks and the first step to this is to hop over to your uh, internet browser and we're gonna do a Google, a Google search here so I'm going to search for you can see I already started and I spelled it wrong we're gonna do Billie Jean MIDI and uh, you can type this into uh, Google and uh, a bunch of different uh, websites will come up like bit MIDI free MIDI uh, and then there, there are a bunch of other ones, but uh, I definitely recognize free MIDI and bit MIDI and um, depending on what type of MIDI information you're looking for, you may or may not find it, but if it's an old classic like Michael Jackson's, um, you'll definitely be able to find it really soon. Um, okay, so let's uh, have a look at this one. You can see I already clicked on it because I just wanted to make sure that it was going to be available. This is what you're going to see. I know some of these websites look a little bit spammy, so um, uh, yeah, just be careful not to click on anything that's going to download uh, something that is not a MIDI. So it should be .mid or .midi. So let's just click on this and see. All right, so that's giving us a preview. <laughs> okay, I love this already. Download this MIDI file. I'm just going to click on this. It's just going to show me an ad for a second while it waits to download. And I'm actually just going to save this right now, maybe to my uh, music stuff folder. I'm just going to create a new folder called uh, Random MIDI. <laughs> and this one is Billie Jean. Save that to there. And now adding MIDI information into your Ableton Live session is really easy. All you have to do is just drag it right into your timeline. Now you can see that this MIDI file is a multi-track uh, MIDI file. So we have eight tracks that get added in. In this case, I'm not going to import the tempo and time signature data. And I'll just clean up my timeline here by deleting any unused tracks. I'm also going to change the color of these. As you know, I like to keep them white so that the words are just a little bit easier to read. Um, and um, because we're just doing drums, I'm going to remove the MIDI tracks for everything that isn't drums. So I'm just going to look at the MIDI data here, um, and I'm and I can see that you know this is probably a bass line. This is uh, you know stabs, some chords, and then this one here is uh, most likely the drum beat. So I'll just select all the tracks that I don't want and delete them, and then we're left with this one here that I'll name drums. Okay, the next step to this is choosing a sound that you want. So I'll hop over to the browser into the drums category, and I'll just click through some of these options to see some, if, if there's anything in here that I like. Sure, let's go with that one. So I'm just dragging it onto the track, and what you'll notice here is that when you have a look inside of the MIDI clip, that not all of these MIDI notes um, will actually end up on a pad inside of your drum rack. You can see that C sharp 5, A sharp 4, A, A3, we've got A2 and E2, these are all MIDI notes that are present inside of the MIDI clip here, but they're they aren't in a location on our drum pad where it'll actually trigger any sounds. So our job is to just make sure that all of this MIDI information is going to line up on something that's actually going to make some sound. But first, let's have a look at our most crucial elements 
the snare drum, the kick drum, and the hi hat. And we'll just make sure that those are actually lining up uh, with our with our MIDI information here with our with our drum rack. So we can see that the kick drum here, it's uh, it looks like it's going to work out. It doesn't look like it's you know like if there was a hi hat pattern on the kick drum, it might sound a little bit wonky. But it looks like these are nice and evenly spaced. Looks like the collapse are happening in between the kick drums, so that looks like that's working out nicely. And then the hi-hat's also working out nicely as well. What else do we have here? We've got the tom, that's good. Synth, interesting. Uh, shaker, uh, and then these extra ones here that we'll play around with in just a moment. But let's just preview this and see how these sounds are already lining up with this Billy Jean drum, drum uh, piece here. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. And I'm just going to spot check these and just make sure that all of these sounds that uh, are a little bit more periodic are actually going to be, you know, complementary to the to the beat. So I'm just going to hop to these sections. I can see that this one isn't on here, so I might just move it down into like ride. Let's have a listen. Okay. Let's move that to a different sound. <laughs> cool. I think the ride is actually a good choice. All right, let's see what else we've got. I mean, we've got these uh, sounds here. those on anything so I'm just going to delete them. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm just going to zoom out. We've got these and they only seem to happen at the beginning so I might just move them down. Let's see. that's sounding okay to me. You know, you could get in here and get really uh, wild with this if you wanted to really adapt it to your own style. Maybe you're dragging this MIDI clip in already to a song that you've started and you have a particular uh, kind of idea in mind. Uh, you can start manipulating this in ways like, you know, creating loops inside. You could invert the notes using the inversion option. Of course, the goal for this is to clean this up, and I'm just going to uh, remove any of the silence here. I'm going to consolidate using Command J, and then I'm going to hop over to the user library so that I can see my naming convention, just to remind you. And I'll use Command R to rename, and I'll do 117 BPM underscore there is no key that I that I have in here um, that I've analyzed so I'm just going to skip that one the mood is going to be retro uh, I'm going to say groovy actually I'm going to retro straight pop and hyphen Billy Jean style drum beat enter and I'll drag that over to my rhythm folder and hit enter and now I have that new beat that's ready for a track in the future. So once again hop over to Google search for your favorite songs and see if you can find some pieces that you'd really like to use and save and adapt for your own music and I'll see you in the next one.